Today's session is going to be uh, press handstand, stall to press. I'm going to do it both on the floor and on the canes. So it's a follow along. So I'm going to do my own training, but I'm going to give progressions and regressions as I go with each stage. So I'm going to jump in with a warm up. Ready to follow along with this, you have to have a freestanding handstand and have some control in the straddle to be able to do a properly eccentric uh, press. Um, and I'm going to go all the way through to a stall to press. So standard warm up, I'm just going to warm the wrists, the shoulders up. Um, and the straddle flexibility. So just quick wrist prep. Obviously do whatever you need to do to warm your wrists up. It's gonna uh, be different for everybody. Shoulders, make sure you have that tail tucked under. So tuck under as you do this one, have your hands shoulder width apart, fingertips. Look at the fingers, keep the toes pushed into the floor. So start to open the straddle up, so not too wide, and just do some transfers between keeping the weight back in the feet and then transferring the weight into the hands. This will also start to give you a feel for how things are today. So whether your hips are tight, whether your hands, wrists feel tight, and then obviously just do the required stretching just to free those up a little bit. So notice when I do this one, how much I'm pushing through my upper back. So how much is like the protracted, like a planchy type feel without going too far forwards. So you want to feel very comfortable to load your hands. And if you have it, start to do a few little floats there as well, if you feel comfortable with that. Okay, then going into the path of the press itself. Again, just warming the hips up. So like your body line, hollow body position, so low back into the floor. Trying to keep the feet as low as possible towards the floor. Come to the, like, the start of the press, back ground again. If you struggle with this one, especially through that rolling of the back, you could do like a frog position. If you find you struggle to get up with that one, hold on to something. Okay, then warming the handstand up. So warming up your entries, so kick ups. First handstand of the day, see how it feels. So jumps, ideally jump through the press pattern you're gonna do. So if you're gonna go into some straddle work, do straddle press, if you can do some tuck work, uh, do tuck jumps. Okay, then into some straddle pancake work. Um, I always like, even though I can get pretty flat in a pancake, I like to have a little bit of a cushion underneath the butt to start with, just so it helps to turn that hip over. Now, because I've spent a lot of time in straddle recently, um, I'm quite comfortable to bounce straight away, so I do little bounces to get the hip nice and open in that position. Uh, if you're uh, much tighter here, I wouldn't uh, recommend you do bounces. I'd be focusing on more of a flat back position. So what I recommend you do with your pancake work, when you're not specifically doing a pancake stretching session, I'd make sure that you get um, to your maximum depth that you normally get to. So for me, I know if I can get my belly button down to the floor, I've got to my like normal straddle position. Okay, next I'm going to try an eccentric press just to see how everything feels like. I'm going to go as slow as I can. So I should be able to pause at any point through this because I'm going to go onto the stool to work. If you're still working on these eccentrics, you could do them up against the wall uh, or just try and go down the path as slow as possible. So enter any way you like. And then I'm going to slowly open to my straddle position. Turn the hip over slowly. 
push up and back with the upper back, mid back, and then finish, tippy toes, kissing the floor. So that's the big bit most people struggle with is that, that bottom section, that bit where I'm just kissing the toes. Then back to straddle else sit work. So instead of the straddle, I've warmed that up now. If you need to do that more, uh, do more straddle stretching, but also start to work your active position. So you could do this in different ways. You could do the straddle lifts. So this type of thing, you could do it in pike, so working more compression work, or you could actually do the straddle hold itself. So you could go else sit, straddle hold. You could push up from the floor if you have it. So trying to hold. That was not a good example, I'm trying to hold in the straddle position. So my hips are tight, I need to work on that. But I can hold a straddle position, you can tell by my voice, it's a bit harder. And I could do the same raised up, which is a slightly easy, easier thing to do, because I can have my feet lower, or I could straighten them a little bit. I just when we're doing those, we just need to try and keep the knee higher than the hip crease. Okay, next I'm going to try and add both together. So I'm going to go through my eccentric uh, press and finish in my straddle L sit. So if you don't have those, do them separately. Do an uh, eccentric straddle press and then do a straddle L sit hold. Now I'm going to purposely, because I tend to fall back, especially when I'm not too warmed up, I'm going to purposely touch my toes to the floor and keep my toes on the floor as I come through in that straddle L. So show control here. Start to open through the straddle, start to turn the hip over, pushing up as hard as I can now until my toes kiss the floor. Keep leaning forwards. Now I lift the toes. So if I don't make that, I'll do a separate straddle L sit now. Now I'm going to add a press into it. So I'm going to do a straddle press to my handstand all the way down to an eccentric stalder. So if you don't have the straddle press up yet, you could do a partial range up, you could use momentum, you could jump, um, or you could just keep the hands down and keep working those real slow eccentrics and separate the straddle L again if you need to. So I'm gonna press up, I'm gonna show, try and show as much control as I can and make it as clean as possible throughout the movement. So I should be able to hold a conversation while I'm doing this, because I wanna try and keep this sub-maximal so I can really just work on technique rolling the hip down, pushing as hard as I can. Again, I'm gonna use that same toe touch, lean forwards, lift the toes, 10 second hold. And lower back down. Now option if you have it, is I could, Handstand on the box. Now, obviously, there's a uh, prerequisite that I'm happy to handstand on a higher surface. You could do this on yoga blocks. You could do it on something that's just off the floor. But the idea is we create a bit more space. So you could go down a little bit quicker, and you can also use a bent knee as you go down. So you could do that same thing. You could press up. Oh, wobbly box. And then from here, I bend the knees a little bit, push up, and then come down to my straddle L. So it's a little bit easier, especially if you've got the strength, but don't quite have the flexibility or the active range. So I now feel comfortable to, to go through a full rep, but I'm gonna start in that straddle L. So start from my feet, go back into it that way because I find that easier. And then I'm gonna do a full stall to press. I'm expecting my toes to drag, they normally do. So I need to work on that uh, active flexibility through there. If you're not up to this level of actually going up, still just work on those eccentrics. So not bad. I had a little bit of a bend in the elbows and my feet were sliding on the floor. So those are the two things that I'm going to work on. So I'm now going to work on my combination that I'm aiming for today, which is a straddle press from the floor down to a stool to press back out to walk forwards, do exactly the same on here. So press up, stool to press back up again. So that's the goal. I'll see if I can get that as a combo today. 
for you guys just work on whichever level you are you could add repetitions in if you already have these presses you could do them on different heights uh you could just work the eccentrics you should just work you could just work the uh the eccentric itself of the normal press you could work partial range there's lots of different options So let me know if you have any questions. I'll be interested to know which variation of the workout you could do. Thumbs up and subscribe will be appreciated. And I'll speak to you next time. Thanks, guys.